LA gang. Just sort of grab the camera. The old Chev's been playing up a little bit. It's almost, almost like a, uh, if it was a carby car. In the summertime, I'd say it's probably, it would have been something like a vapor lock or something like that, but. Listen to see if there's any noise comes out of this. So I'm just seeing if I can track down if there's if I could smell a leak I'd be concerned but I don't know leaks on the tank. Oh, there's the uh well that's shindig shindiggery. Yeah. Filter and stuff, I should I probably should change that filter I suppose at some stage. Probably been a little while since I've changed it. But, uh, yeah, you can see we've got adjustable panard, a five bolt, a five, uh, five link rear end. And the shock absorbers, as you see, they go up that way. Pretty wicked angle. But that's um, besides the point, isn't it? So, I don't see any fuel leaks. <coughs> well, actually, it might be a little bit of a weepage there. Look at that. Can you see it? Where are we? There's a little stain there. Maybe I'll have to check into that. But I don't think that's the problem. It just, it just gives that feeling of a vapor lock. <coughs> Let's see if we can see anything a little further. <clears throat> it's been raining, but the grass is pretty dry now, so it's not bad. We had hot weather last. Well, yesterday was actually nearly 30 degrees out here. Not bad considering we got. Uh, We've only got another uh, week or two before it's actually hit winter. 700R. And the uh, 5 litre there. No, I can't see anything really concerning there. Uh, I might have to look into that I think too. Can you see that? I guess I'm going to zoom it. It's just a little little uh little look there it is see that it looks like a little drip oh. off the sump that's all right it's because it doesn't get driven enough but i should do it do it a favor and draw it around a little bit more Alright, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll, see under, we'll have a look under the... So I can see anything from this side of the world. Mm. There's a catalytic converter. Mm. Interesting exhaust system. Mm. It's all going to come out the side eventually, so that's not a biggie. Oh, there's a spider's web going on up there, look at that. Uh, probably red backs. Uh, I can't smell anything really under here. That's concerning. Mm. Uh, just have a bit of a look under the front here, maybe that might be. 
I can't smell anything, so that's a, that's a good sign. That's way one of there. Rack and pinion. And you see the angle of that tie rod there, look at that. That's pretty wicked. I have to do something with that. Oh, we got a fair bit of bump steer, but we'll sort that out. It's not a biggie. Yeah, we've got the rack going on. Disc brakes. Out there. Sticking out the hole, there's the alternator. Yeah. Oh, looks like I've gone off the track a little bit there, haven't I? Wait up. Let's see if anything's come out of the. Fuel line cell there, it's a little dry, they suffer there a fair bit. They can um, leak at that return hose there. No, that's all good. Map sensor. No, smells dry. The fuel rail all looks to be alright. Be something though. Maybe I might find the answer around this side. Still looking towards that bait block. That's my problem here. Mm -hmm. Ah, I think I found something. Wait up a second. this hmm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. just as I thought there it's the vapor lock all right there's the vapor lock fixing if I'm not mistaken a right, second we'll open her up yeah, well that's from my buddy Scott. We know him as Stoke Bolt 50. And uh, it's Vapor Log Vixen's new sticker there. Amy sticker. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, a bit of a headache going on there. But no. Uh, very sweet. Very good. Uh, included was a pretty cool little note there and uh, yes Scott I shall be spinning wrenches mate right through to winter time and uh, thanks again all my buddies I have some stickers on their way and we'll be sending out uh, I think I hope I think about 30 I've got to send out which I owe you. Scotty and Amy one. Something else for you too, Scott, so I did promise you a little while back. That won't be a problem. Anyway. So there we go. Well, ain't really nothing wrong with the old girl after all, eh? Pulling your leg. Have a good one.